Hey guys, I'm Tommy with Studio Sense. A big fragrance welcome. I'm excited to bring you a new video today about green fragrances. That's right, today we're gonna go green. You might remember last week, I think it was last week, when I released that 10 lemon scented fragrances for summertime. We're gonna do the same thing today. 10 green scented fragrances for summertime. Green being either fruity or vegetal. Fruity like watermelon, kiwi, green apple, vegetal like thyme, rosemary, oregano, whatever, you know, green, a vegetal or mineralic. So when we come back, I'm going to show you some of my favorite green scented fragrances, that and more when we return. So stay tuned. Welcome back, guys. I do want to let you know this video is primarily slated towards cheap designer. That is our corral today. That's our primary focus. I want to stretch your dollar as far as it can possibly go. If you're like me and you want to find fragrances when you look for them and you don't want to pay a tremendous amount of money for them, but you still want to get quality, that is a niche in itself. Finding good quality fragrances for a low price, it's, it exists, it's real, it happens. And that's why I'm actually even here. That's why I have a channel. That's my primary focus. So today, no different. I'm going to show you 10 very affordable fragrances that are primarily fruity or vegetal. So we got a lot to go over. Let's go ahead and get started. My very first fragrance, as I was saying, is an oldie but a goodie. It came out in the year 2000. It is from the nose of Jean-Claude Delville of none other than Curve fame, and it is Lucky You. Now you might have some nostalgia associated with this before school or during school. Maybe you wore it but this is a wonderful grass slash bamboo, uh, green, mineralic, casual fragrance. To me, this is the epitome of daytime casual wear with a jeans and a t-shirt. Now, for those of you that are a little bit older and prefer more mature man's fragrance, this might not appeal to you. It's definitely got a youthful vibe, even that it is slightly old school. It's definitely got kind of a youthful vibe going on about it. Now, it would be perfect for a night on the town with the wife. So if you're interested in something that's a little bit sexy, still masculine, but also very green, Lucky You is super available. It is super accessible. You can get a 100 ml bottle for 17 bucks. Now, just like the 10 lemon scented fragrances, I'm gonna pick out the note trifecta. That is the three most prominent notes. The note trifecta in Lucky You is gonna be bamboo, sweet clover, and tamarind. You remember tamarind is kind of a sweet and sour apricot lemony scented fragrance? Tamarind is wonderful in this masculine green summer scent. Second in our green mile, our discovery of green summer scented fragrances is a fragrance that often can be found hanging out at rack stores like TJ Maxx, actually it'll disappear and then come back. And here lately, if you have a TJ Maxx or a Kohl's or a Ross Dress for Less, you can probably find it there. And that is Ermin Gildo's Womo. Womo came out in 2013 and it is from the nose of none other than Alberto Morias. Super high quality fragrance in terms of smell and the performance is not bad at all actually. So you can get average performance from this. This fragrance here is super green and vegetal and mineralic. To me, it's almost like smelling a green rock, if that makes sense. If you put your nose to this at all, only that rock is like super clean and super refreshing. The Womo definitely has an energy and a, a youthful vigor and vibe to it. It doesn't have old school energy. It has, I guess you could say, new school. So it's got a little bit of a modern spin on it. The three prominent notes in Womo right here. As you can see, there's hardly any sweetness to Womo at all. Womo has almost a professional quality about it, so you can dress it up a little bit. I wouldn't say formal, maybe semi-formal, and dress it down. It's a great casual daytime spring into the onset of summer fragrance. Xenia's Womo is also available in a 30 mil size flacon, and we're actually gonna do a giveaway for this fragrance. So if you like Womo, if you never tried it and you'd like to try it, all you gotta do to win is simply put in the number of years that you've been interested in aka collecting aka wearing men's fragrance and it's, if it's not a number of years and you've only been doing it a few months then just put the number of months if it's only a few weeks put the number of weeks that's it in the comments below this video simply put the number of years or months or weeks whatever the case may be that you've been into men's fragrance and that will enter you to win. Excellent little fragrance, and it's a perfect size to take with you. I love these size, 30 mil is awesome. So make sure to put in the comments below before you finish this video, or do it right now, stop it, pause it. Just simply put in the number of years that you've been into men's fragrance, whether it's a collecting, wearing, or just interested in, and if it's not years, the number of months or weeks, as the case may be. 
Again, Aramangelo Xenia's Womo is available at most online discounters. You can get a 100ml bottle for just over 30 bucks. Next up is a fragrance that shares the bamboo note with Lucky You in this list. It's also one of the few fragrances that you can dress up as well as you can dress down and is perfectly compatible for both scenarios and that is Perry Ellis Platinum Label. Platinum Label is an amazing little power horse. This is an underrated gem. I first got this about four or five months ago really really have enjoyed wearing it good for in my estimation at least the onset of spring into summer this is a very green budding like fresh green leaves green trees green grass this woodsy vegetal masculine fragrance was released in 2009 it has some really interesting notes including rosemary violet leaf lavender cedar musk patchouli and my favorite in this irish moss and that's right, that's one of the notes in the note trifecta. So the three prominent notes in this fragrance are bamboo, got patchouli, and Irish moss. And as you can imagine with those notes, there's a light sensibility with a dark elegance. And that's what makes this easy to wear dressing up. Now you can get a 100 ml bottle for about 20 bucks, which is excellent for you know, the Perry Ellis house. A lot of Perry Ellis fragrances are not necessarily known for being great performers. This, however, I do get a good six to seven hours with about an hour and a half, two hour projection. Now this next fragrance surprised me with how multi-layered and complex it actually is. It's not uncommon to smell a fragrance and kind of do the shoulder hitch of virtual question mark. You read off a list of notes, but you aren't really able to pick them out. That is not the case with Vince Camuto Om. Just like the presentation indicates, this is kind of a blue-green or green, this is a very bright green, semi-fruity, semi-vegetal, but very, very woody fragrance. In fact, there are four different kinds of woods that are represented in Vince Camuto Om. Some of the notes include citron, gin and tonic, ozone, fennel, blue cypress, French lavender, juniper berry, mugwort, atlas cedar, silver birch, musk. If I didn't say musk, I left that out. There's definitely musk in this as well. But musk is just the fixative at the base that provides the hand that holds the rest of the notes in line. So the prominent three note trifecta in Vince Camuto Om is French lavender, cypress, and juniper berry. This has above average longevity, giving me about eight hours of performance with about a two hour, two foot radius in terms of sillage or, or projection. Daytime, nighttime, casual wear, it's best utilized during the daytime and the spring and summer months. You can find a 100 ml bottle of Vince Camuto Om for under 30 bucks. This next fragrance is a yearly or semi-yearly release from Issey Miyake. It is Lodissi Por Homme Summer Edition 2018. Now this is actually from, I believe, the 2013 formulation, but the bottle is the 2018 Summer Edition. This to me is like happiness in a bottle. I mean, you can't not feel good. You can't not feel good? I guess that's the correct sentence structure. But when you spray this on, it is such a feel good fragrance, capturing the essence of summertime in this, but it's a greener summer than what you're used to. The bottle is blue. It makes it look like you're gonna get a typical blue fragrance, but you should see with a little bit of the presentation there with the green, that's really what you're getting is a green consciousness. This lighthearted, playful season in a bottle gives you above average performance with its longevity and its projection. It has the best of what blue fragrances have, again, with that green sensibility, featuring notes such as kiwi, grapefruit, coriander, you've got juicy pineapple, a musky nutmeg, an earthy patchouli, and a dry, elegant vetiver. It's a near pitch perfect summertime fragrance that's part blue, part green, part melon. There's a lot of different notes to this composition you know, you've heard that saying when in rome or be all things to all people this fragrance is very much like that for a summertime fragrance whatever mood you're in whatever you want to feel like or smell like this seems to take on the role pineapple nutmeg and patchouli are going to be the note trifecta the three prominent notes in the pyramid you'll notice them right away they stay with you from open to mid to dry down and that's the wonderful thing about isi miyake's lodisi porom summer edition 2018 is its consistency. You can find this 125 ml bottle for just over 30 bucks online. This next fragrance is what I call a covert fragrance, meaning it sneaks up on you, but in a good way. It's very subtle straight from the atomizer, but when it's on your skin, it really opens up and shows you what it's all about. It was formulated back in, I think, 2004 from the nose of one of my favorite female perfumists, Anique Minardo, and it is Lacoste Red Style and Play. Now, if you go to various websites like I think Parfumo.net, which is a good, credible, reputable site, 
it will say that this has been discontinued. It has not been discontinued. It is actually still selling re really well and is in production. And if you go to fragrance.net to get it, which I think they're currently out, they'll say in their little liner notes that it actually came out in 2014, which is also incorrect. So you're gonna find some disparaging information out there that's incorrect. The reality is, is this has been around for a long time. It's very well blended, well crafted, well curated fragrance. Primarily what you're gonna get your nose on in this is the note of apple, green apple at its absolute best. If you like fragrances like uh, DKNY's Be Delicious or along the lines of Kenneth Cole's Reaction, if you like those, you're gonna like this very much, very similarly. Note trifecta and Lacoste style in play is gonna be jasmine, patchouli, and green apple. It smells a little bit flowery at first, a little bit feminine, almost unisex. This fragrance is not for the older, mature man. It does carry a youthful vibe to it. Again, once that somewhat floral, lightly feminine burns away, what you're left with is a very powerfully performing fragrance. I get a good eight hours performance out of this with about two hours worth of projection, that nice green apple bubble that you're in, basically. You can still find this again, it is not discontinued, it is still in production, and you can get a 125 ml bottle, which is what this is for around 30, just under 30 bucks. This next fragrance was part of a quintet released from Azaro, their Sensual Blends, and it is one of the ones that I did a first impression of a few weeks ago, and I really, really liked it. Out of the five, this is one that I really had no trouble thinking about where to practically apply it, wear it, and use it, and that is Azaro Porom Wild Mint. Like the name implies, this is very obviously a green fragrance with a mint note in it. It does have Moroccan mint, but it also has bergamot, calypsone, balsam fir, some absolute Indonesian patchouli, and Haitian vetiver. This note trifecta is relatively easy as the fragrance itself is pretty linear. So you've got calypsone, you've got mint, and you've got patchouli. One thing that I do want to caution you on, especially with fragrances that are a little bit more exotic in terms of genre or subcategory, is genrefying or categorizing fragrances as a casual wear only, or a dress up wear only, or a daytime only, or a nighttime only. When you start corralling fragrances into a specific use for a specific situation, you kind of lose out on some of the wonder and awe that can be discovered through discovery. So I highly recommend playing around. Really, actually, the only person that should tell you when to wear a fragrance is you, not me. I'm just giving you some basic guidelines. I want to show you some of the uses that I have found in fragrances, and then you discover them for yourself. Discover new and inventive ways and times and means by which you can wear a fragrance. Just because a fragrance is made for winter doesn't mean you can't wear it in the heat of summer. Try it out, you might surprise yourself. So Wild Mint, again, primarily for use during spring and summertime with a very obvious, fresh, masculine, woody, scented, slash fruity fragrance is gonna be optimized for spring and summer, day and nighttime casual wear, but you can also wear it as a date night fragrance as well. It works very, very well in that particular scenario because again, it's part of that quintet of sensual blends from Azaro. Wild Mint can be found online in a 100 ml bottle for under 30 bucks or eh, right at 30 bucks. This next fragrance is also an Azaro fragrance and it too was released part of a trio part of three. In fact, these three fragrances are from the Solarissimo collection, and they were meant to highlight particular aspects of either the Mediterranean sun, sea, or landscape. This particular one is called Solarissimo Lavanzo. Yes, the Lavanzo is also an island, and this is representative of the sun. As can be seen in the presentation, the gradient probably the best thing about the presentation, this nice green gradient into clear, and of course you've got a really nice ashwood stopper as well. This is a very unique fragrance and to wear it, it is such a, this one has bite. I mean, be prepared when you first spray this on. It is off-putting to some people because its presence is like a slap in the face. It lets you know it's there, but that's just in the open. After that dries away, then it really shows its true personality is more than just a conversation starter. It features notes of Italian lemon, passion fruit, basil, lavender, mint, cardamom, geranium, ginger, tea, cedar, amberwood, and coumarin. Out of all those, if I had to choose a trifecta from the, the fragrance pyramid, it would definitely have to be basil, uh, lemon, and amberwood. Those, th those three things represent this fragrance best. Those three notes are most prominent. 
Uh, you've got that basil, which is that astringent, biting, open, creamy sweetness coming from the amber wood, and then you have that bright Mediterranean sun in the Italian lemon. Wonderful, wonderful green summer scent that is perfect for casual day and nighttime wear, primarily daytime wear. It only comes in a 2.5 ounce, which is a 75 ml bottle, and you can get this bottle for about 25 bucks online, online discounters. Our next fragrance might surprise you somewhat because you're not used to seeing it in maybe the light of a green summertime fragrance, but it is very minty, but it also has green apple in it. So right there, you, you might know right away, but it's very much known for being EDM fragrance. That's right, electronic dance music. You know exactly what I'm talking about, don't you? Versace Eros. I love this bottle. This color is my absolute favorite color of all time. It's kind of like a blue-green, green. Gives you kind of an idea of what you're in for, uh, the presentation itself. What you're looking at is a very youthful, vibing, energetic, sparking fragrance. It is wonderfully curated and crafted. It does contain a mint note in it. As mentioned, it contains apple, but it also has some other interesting notes. You've got lemon, tonka, geranium, ambroxan, vanilla, vetiver, oak moss. I think there's two kinds of cedars. There's like Virginian cedar and Atlas cedar. You've got that nice woody base that holds all these ingredients, notes together, but then the actual mint and the apple give it a fruity consciousness. So you've got that green in there, but it also has that youthful, vibing energy with that sophisticated modern ambroxan. And that's what really turns the table for this fragrance and makes it the popular fragrance that it is today. Now this one you can get in a 100 ml bottle. It's still selling strong even after eight years. You're going to pay most for this than any other fragrance in this list at around 50 bucks for a 100 ml bottle. Eros stands on its own in terms of when you want to wear it. It's great for day and nighttime wear. It is hyper versatile. It is very much a signature scent for a lot of people. Highly recommend it as a green summertime fragrance. So the last fragrance I'm going to talk about on this green frontier that we've been facing today lets us know that it's green even though the bottle itself is completely white. And that's right, Hugo Boss Bottled Unlimited. What I find interesting about this is not only do you get green word unlimited, but when you take the top off, and I showed this to you in the first impression video I did recently, you've got a little bit of a green highlight in the reticule of the atomizer. Let's go ahead and see how that sprays. It does a fantastic job spraying out some wonderful, wonderful juice. Okay, so I've established that Hugo Boss Unlimited does have a limitation. It smells great, it doesn't taste good, but I do get a lot, a better sense of the bouquet of this fragrance with it in my mouth. <laughs> so, although I don't recommend it, it's kind of a neat happenstance. First off, I'm really glad that I got a 200 ml bottle because I'll definitely be reaching for this as a easy, quick, dumb reach, easy grab during this summertime. In fact, I've been wearing it for the last three days now. This is such a classic, fruity, woody, masculine summertime blend featuring notes of violet leaf. Like Eros, it also has mint. It's got grapefruit, pineapple, rose, cistus, cinnamon, sandalwood, and musk. Wonderful, wonderful blend. Relatively new fragrance to the scene, but it's already marked itself as a contender for potential best designer fragrance of 2020. Not necessarily a winner, but at least a contender. Boss Bottle Unlimited is a dressed up and dressed down fragrance. It is at ease in either scenario. It is hyper versatile. Definitely a wonderful spring and summer fragrance with that green, almost herbaceous quality to it. As all designer fragrances, Boss Bottle has captivated their audience by featuring wonderful fragrances at a very affordable price. You can get a 100 ml bottle of Boss Bottle Unlimited for just over 30 bucks. And guys, again, for the giveaway, if you're interested at all in having Hermengildo Zenia's Womo, really nice green scent for the summertime, all you gotta do is put down in the comments below how many years that you've been into men's fragrances, whether it's been collecting them or wearing them or being around them. If it's not years, then how many months? If it's not months, then how many weeks? That's it. You don't have to put your name. You don't have to put a story. Just put a number and you're in like Flynn. And that's it. And after we get 50 entries or more, I'll select a winner and let you know. Well, guys, that's it for my 10 green summertime scents. That's it for the green Inferno, uh, the green mile, the green itch village. I, I don't know. I'm running out of movies and, and titles. 
for the color green. But suffice it to say, I really appreciate you coming along for the ride and watching this video. If you've used any of these fragrances, share your experiences in the comments below. If you think something is missing from this list, please also share those. Thank you so much for stopping by and watching my video today. As always, thank you so much for your support. I'm Tommy with Studio Sense, and I'll see you next time.